What is going on, football fans? Back at it with another New York Giants video. I'm going to dive into the DeAndre Baker case. I haven't done a video on this in a while because there really hasn't been a lot of news. Kind of been waiting, um, you know, to learn more about it. I think a lot of Giants fans are waiting on that as well. I've said countless times I think DeAndre Baker is one of the most important players on this year's defense, being that we're going to blitz as much as we are. We're going to need strong cornerback play, and DeAndre Baker will have to warrant uh, being worthy of that first-round selection, which the New York Giants traded up last year to get him. Well, of course, when it initially came out, it seemed as if there was at least a strong possibility that DeAndre Baker was guilty. Of course, there was a warrant out for his arrest. There were supposedly five um, witnesses that were willing to testify against him. And as this case has developed, things have changed. Now, some people may point to the fact that are, were the witnesses paid off? Because why did they you know, suddenly change their stories? At the end of the day, it's looking more and more likely that DeAndre Baker will be ruled innocent. And I do think he will be in a New York Giants uniform this year, as a matter of fact, if they play, of course. And as a matter of fact, I'd be surprised if he wasn't. I think the Giants would get absolutely destroyed by the New York media and the fans if they were to cut him, um, if he was ruled innocent in this case. Yes, he put himself in the wrong situation at the wrong time. But if he didn't do what was said that, you know, that he did, I can't imagine the New York Giants moving on from him. And I expect... DeAndre Baker to be in the starting lineup for the New York Giants this year, um, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how he plays, but we're going to have to wait and see how the whole case plays out. But according to two witnesses, I'm going to pull up the exact quotes, it seems as if DeAndre Baker, according to them, had nothing to do with, uh, you know, the charges that are being said that, that he is being accused of. Um, you know, they basically came out and said that he never had a gun, they were within 10 to 12 feet of him during the uh, at the point of which he is being accused of committing this crime and he seems as if he is entirely innocent and at the end of the day if there's no evidence and if you have you know there's no video evidence seems like there's no witnesses willing to testify against him I don't think there's much of a case and I think DeAndre Baker's getting off but I wanted to jump into the exact quotes of what these two individuals had to say so here's what the TMZ article had to say regarding the DeAndre Baker situation Baker was charged with four counts of armed robbery and four counts of aggravated assault with a firearm, though he had adamantly denied the allegations. Now, two witnesses who were at the cookout have given sworn affidavits, which have been submitted to prosecutors, in which they state Baker never pulled out a gun or robbed anyone. Here comes the quote. DeAndre Baker was near me, and he never pulled out and or pointed a firearm at anyone at the party. Both men claimed they were 10 to 12 feet from Baker during the commotion. Both men who claim they only know Baker from playing the Madden NFL video game online also say they never saw Baker take anything from anyone at the party. Both men also say they provided the affidavit at their own accord. No one has threatened them or influenced them in any way. We spoke with Baker's attorney, Bradford Cohen, who tells TMZ Sports, we believe that there is significant evidence to rebut any allegation made in the case. So according to those witnesses, it looks like DeAndre Baker will be ruled innocent. Now, as far as the case goes, I have no idea. I don't know how long this is going to take. Could be over in a week, could be over in three months for all we know. You know, I remember the OJ Simpson trial. It took forever. And hopefully that's not the case for DeAndre Baker or the New York Giants this year, being that I think we're going to need him on the football field if we plan to do any damage. Um, we're incredibly thin at that position um, in, in terms of an exterior corner outside of him. Some of the guys that people have talked about are guys that we look, you know, we think are more slot guys, guys like Darnay Holmes and Julian Love that could potentially replace him. Uh, DeAndre Baker, of course, has to keep his head on straight. That's been the MO with him from the start um, since he's been as a New York Giant. And obviously the reports came out after the fact talking about that he had red flags while he was at college. And if he does that, DeAndre, there's no reason to think DeAndre Baker can't be a very good cornerback in this league. After all, he was the number one corner drafted in the 2019 draft. And hopefully he's innocent and hopefully he gets off and he will be wearing Giants blue this year. And from the sounds of it, he probably will. Like I said, We'll have to wait and see how long this, you know, this case takes to transpire. As always, guys, if you like what you watch, please subscribe, drop a comment, maybe give me a little thumbs up. Cheers.